Hello， 欢迎回到最新一期的 Day in Van 完成生活。那么在前几期当中呢，我们讲到了有关 Home Inspection 房子验屋该注意的各种事项，还有谁该注意，不管是买家或卖家，都是需要有一些做笔记的时候。那如果你没有看到之前的话呢，记得这里要看一下之前的哟。然后呢，也有很多朋友在问说，哎。这个行业看起来真的还蛮酷的，怎么样才能够踏入这个行业呢？那今天就让我们继续跟着专业的燕屋时尚来了解，怎么样来踏入这一行吧。I've been a home inspector for about 12 years.、Uh, before that, I built homes for 25 years. So, Sha, what type of、um, education or background do you need to become a home inspector?、Uh, <clears throat> it changes quite often, but currently, you need to be, become certified through one of the registered educational platforms, such as Douglas College,、okay. ECIT. There's some online programs as well, but you still have to go through peer review. Um, once you get your credentials, you have to belong to an association. So my my credentials, personally, I'm a national home inspector, I'm a certified property inspector, and I'm a certified master inspector.、Wow. So those are the probably the highest levels of of credentials you can have for the industry.、Um, but、um, it, it's changing quite often, and、okay. it's going to actually become harder. Oh. In the next couple of years, which I totally agree with, I think it should become harder.、Mm-hmm. It's, Because it's such an important job, you're、yeah. affecting a lot of decisions. Exactly. Making,、right? Yeah. Yeah.、Um, so, what kind of trainings are involved? In so you 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 do your regular academic side,、right. and, and then you do、uh, peer reviews. So you get tested with a peer. I'm actually a, a provincial examiner and、oh. uh, trainer.、Um, so you have to find one of those people that can do it for you. Um, so then you follow them around. Like hands-on, just hands-on.、Uh, you do approximately 50 hours of that,、um, which isn't enough. But no, it, right? Because it's, it's really, really just like what 10、no. to 15 houses. Yeah. So yeah. M- when my guys were trained,、um, they actually did six months of inspections with me. Wow. So they were approaching more like 500 hours. Wow. Ten times more. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Um, but that's that's the requirement, and then you have to keep your license up to date. So you must take online programs continuously, almost like real estate agents oh, do. Oh, because、well. there's always new information, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Do they teach you how to use a drone? No, <laughs> that's part of the new thing. <laughs> I crashed it yesterday, so、oh, no, no. <clears throat> I should have had a lesson. <laughs> so,、uh, yeah, but it, it, the industry is evolving quite a bit. For sure. When I first got involved, it was all paper. Oh. You were writing down everything. We don't use any paper in my、oh. office at well, all. Well, imagine so, that.、Yeah. Um, but then for the academic part, how long does the whole course take? If you do the BCIT in Douglas College, it takes approximately it's self-paced, but it on average takes two years.、Oh. Um, the online programs,、um, it's again self-paced. So、mm-hmm. uh, again, average of eighteen months. Yeah. So、uh, for your twelve years in the、um, industry, what kind of interesting things have you seen? Oh. <laughs> You never know where to start when you get that question. <laughs> But、uh, I was in a home in New Westminster in the same family from 1895, and no more members of the family were alive. It was an estate sale, and I was in the attic. And I look back, I shine a light in the、uh, attic, and I see a chest, like a steam chest from a ship. Yeah. <clears throat> I opened it up. It was full of cash. Jewelry, Are pictures. Are you serious? Like、yeah. a real one? A real one. I had to drag it to the hatch, and I told the real estate agent. Like from the parish. I just found this. <laughs> it was the trunk that they brought over when they came over from England. Oh wow! And they just used it to, to, to store. They go straight to the museums, right? <laughs> well, we, the agent was smart. They they actually did find somebody, a, a distant relative, so、mm-hmm. it might have been a nice find because、oh, wow. uh, there was it was there was no. Did you snatch something? Yeah. <laughs> Just no. one coin? <laughs> no, no, it was it was hard enough dragging it through the attic. <laughs> right. Oh wow, that's、yeah. amazing. So,、um, are there any sc- scary things that you see? Yeah, you know, when you see a lot of dead rats. I was going to say that. I actually got attacked in an attic、oh, no. by raccoons once as well. You had to go to the hospital, didn't you? No, I just、yeah. got scratched and、okay. stuff. But I'm getting out of there really fast to try to. Get away from them, but it's pretty common, right? Yeah, mama raccoon is very protective over her babies. Right. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and I got I... stitches in the head once from a seagull. Oh no! Yeah, I was 47 floors up on a building and a bird hit me in the head. Again, protecting its nest. Oh, so then um, your own insurance covers that kind of injuries, right? That's that's just workers, you know, regular. I didn't take any time off. No. I, got, I got stitches in the head and that was it. So, oh, yeah. but, wow, yeah. it's, it's, it's really risky in a way. Oh yeah, and right? I fall, I've fallen can't... off of roofs before, yeah. Wow, so, yeah. Um, what kind of um, occupational, other, other occupational hazard that you can think of? Uh, if you're disturbing things in old homes, like vermiculite, it can have asbestos, so oh. you can be inhaling it if you're not using a respirator. Um, gas leaks can be harmful, methane leaks can be harmful, there's, there's all sorts of hazards railings that aren't secured. Do you have the proper protection? Yeah. You bring, you bring them with I you? I bring it, but I half the time don't use it. But you do know when to yeah. put them on, You know right? when to put it on, yeah. Okay, so what yeah. would you tell um, if someone wants to get into the field, what are your suggestions for them? I would, I tell everybody to go Quit. into construction <laughs> trade. Well, I do, I, I discourage it. Really? Because I think the, I think you need home building or some kind of trade experience. Mm -hmm. Um, like I'm a journeyman carpenter by trade, so I spent 25 years building homes. So I see things different than a lot of inspectors. So I tell people, why don't you go get an apprenticeship to be a carpenter in home building and then become a home inspector. If you know how to build it, you, you, it's better for you to see what problems yeah. are, right? Well, I can look at that ceiling and tell you exactly how it's built, where do, some guys can't. Do people take your advice? Yep. They do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. And sometimes they stay in that field. Oh, if they end up liking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the most memorable thing, a memorable house that you've seen? Um, actually, I was with a, a company. I used to do inspections for a bigger, a big company in Vancouver. And when I branched out on my own, I got commissioned to do an inspection on a 14,000 square foot house in Montreal. And it took five days to do oh, it. Oh, wow. It's like a mansion, Because it was right? built in 1850-something with Castle. tunnels. And, so that was that was pretty awesome. It was it was a good experience. Was it like a woman job? Were you there by yourself? Or? Well, I actually brought With my wife, team. and she oh. was she was doing what you were doing today, testing circuits <laughs> and the voltage. Okay, and the voltage. Make sure that voltage is right on. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing's our show is called a day in van. Can you describe a, a typical day of your job? So my my day usually starts pretty early. Um, so I start. It's a lot of driving. So I, I drive a lot, go to a home inspection, conduct the inspection, look pretty for the client, <laughs> often hug them because it might not have gone so well, um, then fly off to another inspection. How many inspections um, can you do in a day? It really depends. I mean, I, I'm very fortunate. I'm, I'm connected to a lot of really big agents. So I'm in demand. Um, which is always nice to be in they demand. They trust you. Yeah, so I usually do about three. Mm -hmm. um, when the market was really crazy, I was doing four. I was oh. working even at night. Wow. It's it's a lot of driving. It is. And a lot of typing, a lot of typing. So when we're doing a house like this, this might take four hours inside, mm -hmm. but I'm spending another four hours typing as wow. well, a report, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of typing. It really is. Yeah. But you do you enjoy this job? I love it. Have you ever um, think about going back to building a house? Nope. No, ne never. No, never. You're no. here. Yeah, yes. do this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is fun. It's fun to educate people. So. Thank you so much, Sean. We've all learned so much today. So we hope you like the um, Home Inspector series and find it really helpful. If you like the content, please remember to subscribe and share with your friends. And please let us know if you have any questions. You can leave comments at the comment section below. And uh, you can also let us know what would you like to know for our future episodes. We will love to um, do the topics that you're interested in. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. 要感谢温生生活的赞助商们，啊，对我们的大力支持，让我们可以制作出好的节目。当然，更欢迎其他的商家联系我们，然后让我们一起来创造出有趣好玩的节目内容吧。我们下次见喽。